West Valley City police are investigating what could be a homicide after a SWAT situation involving a domestic violence suspect over the weekend. Fox 13's April Baker is live with the very latest on the investigation. April, good morning. Good morning. We've been watching as multiple West Valley City police officers have been investigating this home that you see behind me. This is a scene of the standoff about two nights ago. You can still see crime scene tape up there as well. West Valley PD tells Fox 13 News that it started as a domestic violence incident. According to a probable cause affidavit, the victim alleges she had been held hostage since November 1st by 50-year-old Garmin Cunningham. She tells police that he subjected her to various abuse, including putting a gun to her head, cutting her with glass and a knife, and forcing her to drink WD-40. The victim also reports that she saw Cunningham murder an unidentified female and disposed of her body in an undisclosed area. The affidavit goes on to say that Cunningham threw objects and fired a single shot at officers as they tried to get him out of the house on that Friday. Police say eventually he came out armed with a sword. Less than lethal force was used to get him to drop that weapon. Cunningham then tried to take off. Police sent a canine after him, where they say he put up a fight with officers until he was handcuffed. We talked with a neighbor who saw some of the commotion go down that night. It was scary. I mean, it's you're half asleep and you're woken up to that and it's a little disconcerting, like what's going on? So we just didn't know. We didn't know what was going on, but we assumed it was probably a hostage situation with the amount of police presence and the SWAT team that was here. Cunningham now faces a slew of charges, including aggravated kidnapping and assault against a police officer. He's now being held without bail. And we talked to another neighbor off camera who says that she's had multiple interactions with Cunningham over the last six years since she's lived there. And she says that he's a friendly guy and she wouldn't expect anything like this to happen right by her house, especially in a quiet neighborhood just like this. Reporting live in West Valley City, April Baker, Fox 13 News, Utah.